मैथमेटिक्स इज द मोस्ट स्कोरिंग सब्जेक्ट वेयर वी कैन स्कोर फुल मार्क्स बट फॉर दैट वी नीड अ लॉट ऑफ प्रैक्टिस एंड अ प्रॉपर अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ कंसेप्ट अपार्ट फ्रॉम आवर नॉलेज ऑफ कंसेप्ट एंड आर आंसर्स पेपर प्रेजेंटेशन प्लेज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट रोल इन स्कोरिंग गुड मार्क्स सो लेट्स लुक इन टू वेरियस स्टेप्स दैट वी कैन फॉलो टू मेक पेपर मोर प्रेजेंटेबल फर्स्टली एज सुन एज यू गेट द आंसर शीट स्पेर अ फ्यू मिनट्स एंड मेक वन सेंटीमीटर मार्जिन एट द राइट साइड ऑफ ईच पेज आफ्टर दैट मूव टू द लास्ट पेज ऑफ द आंसर शीट एंड यूज इट फॉर रफ वर्क यू कैन राइट डाउन सम इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर्मूले दैट आर डिफिकल्ट टू रिमेंबर This will save your time during paper solving. You can even draw a table for trigonometric values. Drawing the table for trigonometric values is very simple. We have a video in which we explained a simple trick to remember. You can watch our video. I will mention the link in the description box below. Now, moving on with the paper presentation, write down the question number correctly from the question paper. Try starting every new question on a new page. Copy down the values correctly. Many students often tend to make this mistake. While taking down the values from the question paper, double check it and then proceed to solve it. Try solving all the sub questions of the main question in one place only. If you have missed out on a particular sub question, only then solve it at the end. But mention the question number correctly always remember your handwriting expresses your personality also avoid making any mistake on the first page because the first impression is very very important in case of any errors or cancellations do not strike it in a shabby manner instead just strike through it once In the case of geometric questions always draw the diagram using a scale and a pencil make sure you mention all the measurements and arrowheads correctly in the case of proofs mention the theorems or properties wherever used in the case of trigonometric questions mention the identities wherever used the overall paper should be very descriptive students should mention and clearly highlight the formulae theorems or identities now for graph questions mention the question number correctly at the top without fail strictly use pencil and scale for the graphical part do not forget to mark the following things on the graph paper that is x axis y axis origin scale at the top right corner and a king do not tie your graph paper at the end instead put it in the middle of the answer sheet which will avoid it from getting damaged torn or misplaced also do not forget to write your name and roll number on the back side or bottom right corner of the graph sheet moving on to the algebra part take utmost care during complex calculations do not do it in a hurry carry out the calculations in the rough work part and note down the final answer in fair very carefully highlight the final answer by either underlining it or drawing a box around it this is for all the questions in the case of mcq don't just mention the correct option instead write the complete statement with the answer if the mcq carries more than one mark then showing the entire calculation is a must now for question of statistics draw the table with pencil and scale only carry out the calculations on the last page in the rough work part copy the correct values without interchanging any digits in questions of mensuration write the correct formula and check the units carefully if there are different units first convert them into standard unit if there are no units mentioned in the question write just units in your final answer in the case of pi take whatever value mentioned in the question If at all the value of pi is not given you can either take 3.14 or 22 upon 7 whichever you find easy for calculation avoid using shortcuts in the entire answer sheet try keeping the alignment of the equal to sign consistent write the equations on either side of the sign the final and most important point is time management if you are stuck on any particular question Do not spend a lot of time thinking about it. 
instead move on to the next question you can revisit the question at the end but please mention the correct question number so manage your time properly now in the end you can go through your paper once check for any silly mistakes or errors in the calculations don't forget to mention the number of attached supplements and graph papers so these were a few tips that every student must remember while appearing for any examination please be careful while carrying out the calculations remember the formula and yes practice a lot so if you have any question or doubt you can comment us in the below comment section we are always here to help you if you found this video helpful then do not forget to like and share the video we also have courses on our website as well as on udemy we have chart books where you can find everything in one place so for more such videos subscribe to our channel thank you